Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Easy Change Transmission Type Mod. Now this mod can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this mod is available for PC players only. And that is probably how it's going to stay because it is making use of additional scripts. Now when this mod first came out, I didn't really understand it didn't really understand why you might want to be able to change your transmission like on the fly and then I posted it in the discord and good old Schultz modding came back and said this mod is a awesome mod and this is how you could use it and I think it's a great idea and I was like oh okay that makes that makes some sense now quite honestly I play on automatic most of the time I'm not super concerned about ultra realism. I'm not super concerned about picking out gears. I just want to sit down. I want to play and just have fun. So what this mod though does is it allows someone who is on the fence. They want to play with gears, but they don't want to commit to gears or they like to play in auto mode. But for whatever reason, when they are playing and they are driving the tractor, Maybe they're doing field work, maybe they're on a little bit of an incline, and the game can't quite figure out which gear ratio to be in, which gear range to be in, and the base game is always shifting back and forth between, let's say, second and third, second and third, second and third. It's like, oh my gosh, just pick a gear, right? That's what this mod is all about. So F1 menu. The default key binding is delete to switch transmission types. But you can also go in and assign key bindings to specific transmission types if you want. And this mod only works on tractors that do not have a CVT transmission. So if you go in here to the shop, pretty much every large tractor has a CVT transmission. This mod will not work for any tractor that uses a CVT transmission but it will work for tractors that have other transmissions, like this one, which has a manual transmission. Now, when we get down here to the smaller tractors, some have regular transmissions, some have CVTs. This particular tractor has a manual with power shift. So this mod will work with that. What we have now is switch transmission type automatic. This transmission is in automatic. So I just, Press my accelerator, off I go. I want to reverse. It just, it just does it, right? I don't have to do anything. Now, typically I'd have to go into the game. I'd have to go into settings. I'd have to find where the setting is for transmission. I'd have to change it to manual and come back out. And now we're in manual mode. And if we want to basically get into first gear, we have to now use our key bindings to shift, to shift the ranges manually. I've got seven and nine programmed to do the gear ranges and I've got plus and minus set up to do forward, reverse, shift up, shift down type work. And then if we wanted to go back to automatic, we'd have to come back in here, go back to automatic, and then we're back to automatic, right? Well, this mod does all that for you. So we're in auto mode now. We want to hit delete. Now we're in manual mode. We want to hold the accelerator down. And we are redlining the tractor. We are not shifting gears. We're not shifting ranges until I hit nine. Shift into range D. I can hit plus. Shift into fourth gear. I can hit seven. Go back down into B range. Minus. Go back down into second gear. Minus again. Minus into neutral. Minus into the first gear. Second, third, reverse. Different range is the reverse. Pretty much like that. Then we have 
delete again manual with clutch oh my gosh people now we have to bind a clutch so i happen to have three pedals so i have bound my clutch so all it is i just push the clutch in tracker starts push the clutch in tracker starts Now let the clutch out. We are going it out. There we go. Now we head to let the clutch out. Hit the gas. Oh, we can't change gears until we hit the clutch. So pushing the clutch in, hitting nine, changing the gear ranges. Right now we're in fourth gear. Never got to push your clutch in. Guess what? Delete. Now we're in auto mode. I don't even have to stop. Now we're in manual mode. Now we gotta hit clutch. Right. And now we're gonna hit delete again. And now we're in automatic mode. So let's go and take a look here at the key bindings as to how you can set all this up. So we're gonna go here to the key bindings controls and down here in the vehicle gearbox, we have the default keyboard key bindings. Left shift is clutch, numpad up and down is gear shift up and down. Seven and nine is the group up and down and space is to change direction, basically shuttle. I think those are the default key bindings. If we keep coming down here, we're gonna find easy change transmission type, delete. We can set a key binding to automatically go to transmission. We can set a key binding to automatically go to the manual and a key binding to go manual with clutch. So let's say we set up the key binding of, of shift Z. So anytime I hit left shift Z, I'm gonna to go to automatic. If I hit left shift A, and left shift Q. So left shift A is now going to go to manual. Left shift Q is now going to go to clutch. If I wanted it that way. If I go to gamepad, now I am in my wheel settings. And you're going to see that clutch is this button. Shift up is these. And I don't have a shift group mapped in my wheel settings. But that's okay. You don't need to have a clutch mapped with your wheel settings. If you've got it mapped with your keyboard settings, and you're using the keyboard and the clutch and the manual and the wheel and pedals all combined. So guys, that is easy change transmission type. If you always play in automatic mode, that's fine. This mod still could be useful for those situations where when you are in the field and you feel like the tractor just can't pick a gear and you're like oh my gosh just pick a gear and stick with it as opposed to always shifting up and down up and down up and down right you can switch to manual gear you can find a gear you like or wait till the tractor's in the gear you like go into manual mode and it won't shift out until you are ready to go back out drive around then you can go back into automatic mode and there you go so guys, I hope that helped you out understanding maybe how you could make use of the easy change transmission type. Big shout out to Schultz Modding for opening my eyes as to how this mod could be useful as opposed to just being, why would anybody want to do that? Right? Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. And until next time, happy farming.